Yeah, we've been waiting for this. It's going to be an absolutely perfect and gorgeous day. Sunny, 80 degrees. No matter what year Corvette you have, get out there today, drive it, and enjoy it. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Coffee with Conti show. Yeah, I know, looking a little rough this morning. I still have a little road trip lag from Chicago. It's great to have you here on our main Corvette channel and just wonderful to have the opportunity to have conversations with you guys. Real quick again, just to reiterate what we talked about on our Shorts channel yesterday to confirm Bowling Green Assembly for the week of April 25th is shut down for production. So how that will affect the whole Apple cart the end of 2022 and the start of 2023. As we get more information from Chevrolet, we'll share that with you guys right here on the channel. You guys even hear that? Yeah, I know. We need to fix that. <laughs> we will at some point, hopefully soon. Welcome to the show. Today, what I have for you is really just a relaxed conversation as I walk through and show you nearly step by step what I do to prepare a car for delivery. Not just when you guys physically come here to pick up the car, but when we ship it enclosed to your home. You'll see that the little things really do add up. Well, hi, Corvette friends and family. Thank you for joining us. Now you see me. <laughs> now you don't. Yes, we're going to attempt to use the point of view camera again. I got to have my hands free today. I want to share with you a little of my, um, my Corvette OCD. Absolutely. As I prepare two cars shipping to California, and why I think what we do for you guys does make a difference and how I know this firsthand. All right, now it's on there. Now you can see exactly what I'm seeing and we'll come back and do the signs here in just a minute. I go through this each and every time, gotta get my little spray. Each and every time we get a car ready for delivery or in this case, actually shipping the car to your home. And I'll show you here in a second, when you get a car off the truck from Chevrolet, plastic on the seats, all the stuff's in the back of the car, plastic on the floor. And I had taken in, and you guys probably remember this, I took in a 22 on trade car didn't even have, I don't know, 100 miles or whatever, but that's not the point. Uh, the guy didn't like the car. He bought it somewhere else and traded it to us. They had shipped it to him from another large Corvette volume dealer. No, my logos aren't on the door yet. Uh, coming soon. And when I got the car, it was like, this is how they come from Chevrolet. This guy didn't take the plastic off the seats. Nothing was set up in the infotainment system. And I'm going to show you all that today on the vlog, what I do for you guys when you're coming here to pick up a car, and especially when you ship it, I think this makes such a difference. And if I don't do it this way, and if I'm not here to load the cars, well, I freak out. And I don't think there, actually, I don't think there is a time that I've not been here to actually load a car. I changed my schedule. I've canceled stuff in my, in my personal life to make sure that I am here to load these cars. Again, <laughs> Corvette OCD. I just want to be the guy that sees it, touch it, signs off on the car, takes the pictures, does a send-off pat, and then uh, I wish I was there when it was showing up and being delivered to your driveway. So a little bit of a detail area over here. You guys know this building. It's not, this has been up here for years. Please get rid of that. It's not a collision center. But this is uh, where Chuck and Nate work. We share a lot of our Tech Tuesday segments. Thank you so much for the response and the involvement there. So I'm sure the... Uh, the co oh, all right, the code has been unset. Good morning, Carl. All right. Are they both ready? Okay, it doesn't matter which one I take. I'm, I think I'm going to take this one first. <laughs> oh, you like my point of view camera? Yeah. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keeps my hands free. I got to show everybody what I go through. You know what I go through when I'm putting these cars together. So I'll be back to get the other one. I'm gonna do the first one first. Trucker should be here shortly, so thank you. And this is the first step. Now the plastic's off the seats on this one because I took pictures for Don, but we're gonna put two pieces of plastic on this seat. I'll show you guys here in just a minute. So there's plastic here that I got to take off. So I take that off. I always leave the plastic that's on the infotainment screen. Even when you guys are here picking up the car, I leave that on there because I'm touching the screen going through it and I don't want to, 
I don't want to goober it all up, so I'll let you do that. I'll leave it like that when I ship the car, too. So when you guys get it, you can just get up in here, and you can just peel it off if you wish to do so. So first thing I'll do is I'll come back here. This is a coupe, and uh, real quick before we even really get started, I want... Oh, okay, so i got to wipe that off now. See, that's wet. So this is, this is supposed to be ready for delivery. It's not. It's not, so... Hang on, I gotta get another rag. Now Carl, you just saw in our detail department is our main guy, but I know he was off last night and he did not, he did not get these ready for me or else this would not be like this at all. So I'll wipe this down a little bit. And what I was gonna say is a shout out to Michael in Florida. He gave me this beautiful engine cover and I told him, I said, hey, I'd like to, I'd like to kind of pay it forward and give this to a customer that just bought a car, if that's okay with you. We were going to do like a, a charity thing again, like we did for the tornado stuff. I wasn't quite sure what and when and where and all that. So he said, yeah, not a problem. So uh, what an honor to have the opportunity to pay it forward to Don. It goes perfectly with your ceramic gray. And I love the red interior with ceramic, man, I do. And the engine cover's nice, just a little extra custom. You can see there's uh, carbon fiber in here. It's got the colored logo, more so than what uh, Chevy offers. And I still say, let me just go on record saying it again, Chevy, man, come on. You guys are big into the accessories that make these engine covers available in every color of the car that you make for the outside. Guys are buy them all day long, but if not, hey, our friends at uh, American Hydrocarbon, they'll, uh, they'll eat it up all day long. Okay, so this car does not have the accessory mats, just the regular mats. We'll come back to those. I'll take this plastic off the floor here. So one thing you'll notice on the GT2 seats, once you take the plastic off on the back of the seats, they have more plastic there protecting that nice coating. So, I take that off. GT1 seats don't have this. And I can't put the seat belt back on because I'm going to put the seat cover on it. All right, so let's get the original seat cover here. Now, most, and they should, a shipping company, have seat covers for your car when they ship it. I mean, that's what they do for a living, but well, I don't trust too many people. So I save the seat covers when I'm shipping the cars. And I put not one, but I'll put that one on as well. I'll double up. And then if they have something they want to put it over top, they can. That's fine. I'll put one over top like that. Let's get the other one. Because when you're shipping the car, there's no need to have plastic on the passenger seat. Sorry for the sniffles. It is early and cold here in the morning when we're filming. Let's get this off. You know, when the guys clean the car, I tell them, just leave all the plastic inside the car because they don't know if it's going to somebody local or somebody's coming in to get it or, in today's case, shipping the car. And I want to protect these seats as best I, I can. I'm going to show you my trick for the floor mats. So, passenger mat comes out. And you're seeing the... Uh, you guys are seeing the edited version. <laughs> But it takes anywhere from a half an hour to 45 minutes to do all this, to get the cart ready. Mat is down. This is back. Usually there's plastic here and I would take that off, but that's already been taken off, we assume. This comes off. Window sticker, I always tell the guys, leave the window sticker flat. Take it out of the window, still leave the sticky on it, leave it laying flat. And I'll show you why here in just a second. But notice, I just left the plastic on the driver's floor mat. Let's move this back a little bit. Find the uh, push-in tabs. And that way, the driver's mat is also protected in the shipping process. Now, the sill has a plastic piece right here, as you guys know, and I leave that on too, just for you and for the driver, just to cut down any scuff opportunities especially if somebody gets a rock in the bottom of their shoe and then would scuff that across here so you can take this off when you when you get the car but i always leave that on when i ship the car many times when you take delivery i leave this on too until you kind of get used to getting in and out of the car okay so what's next let's go to the back here this is the stuff that comes from chevy and that car that i got i was telling you about earlier it came as you saw none of this done all the plastic stuff in the back the mats weren't down in this bag 
Now this is a Z51, so it'll have the rear brake ducts if you do any any tracking, that's what this is for. And this is the original engine cover here, so we'll leave this in the car for Don as well. And then this goes up front, that goes up front. Um, this is for the back. Looking for that. There it is, okay. This is, you guys know what this is for. If you ran out of gas, you need to put this in here so it actually opens up that valve so you can put gas in. Uh, I've actually had to do that a couple of times. You heard me complain about that on the vlog when I get the cars from Chevy. And like, I joke, as like, guys, you give me a dollar worth of gas at the gas stations across the street over there, and I run out of gas from here to there because there's no gas when it comes off the carrier. It's like, oh my gosh. So I've had to use that a couple of times getting your cars ready. So I put the car here. A lot of guys don't do this. I put the cargo net together for you. And then what I like to do is I keep the window sticker and I put it. Right in there for you. Yeah, very nice. Garbage. This I always put in the glove box for you guys. This is the front cargo net. You guys, get this on two and three LT. This comes part of the package. This. So these are Velcro really nice down here. And we were just talking about wheel locks on the channel. And this particular car came with wheel locks. So I will tell you, record the wheel lock key number somewhere uh, at home uh, in the owner's manual and make sure you know where this is at. Usually I'll put it in this little pouch in here. In the battery protection, we will put that down in this pouch right here. The seat usually comes pretty high from Chevy, so I'll lower it down. So a passenger, when they first get in your car, when you get the car to the house, it doesn't conk their head up here. Okay, so real quick, I just do a walk around the car. Sometimes you'll find, okay, so there is some glue marks up in here. I got some different stuff that'll get, maybe this Adams might get it off, I'm not sure. Actually, it did, and usually you'll find a lot of glue right here from the in-transit cover on the windshield and going across the top here, so I always look for that. Just any little markings. Look for any fingerprints that are on the door. Just walk around it real fast. Anything that's glaring. This looks pretty good. Look at that, okay, so we, we're not done yet. We gotta get inside and prep the car, but first I'm gonna go inside and get my congratulations sign. If I don't have the congratulations sign on the car, I absolutely flip out. I just, I want that car to come off the truck for you guys and have your name on the car. And you go, yeah, yeah, that's my Corvette. That's right. It's exciting that uh, Jeffrey, also from California, as we mentioned, uh, is a younger demographic and excited about uh, his Elkhart Lake Blue C8 that is uh, coming really, really, really soon. All right, so now we have to uh, tape these on the window. Little things, I think, do make a big difference. So I'll put this on the window. Whether you're uh, coming on the lot or not, and you walk up to the car, usually from this side, you see your name on the car. That just makes it extra special. All right, so... I like to set the car up for the client as well. And I usually look at your driver's license and get an idea how tall you are. So I'll set a lot of this stuff up for you guys. So I'm playing around with the seat for a moment. Steering column. This mirror I'll go ahead and get set. I'll brighten it up. I'll go to the next setting. I'll zoom it all the way out. And then the next setting, I'll uh, yeah, tilt it down. Yeah, just so you can see a little bit of the of the rear spoiler. And that helps you. Remember, 2 and 3 LT, even 1 LT convertibles. This camera on top of the car is standard on your C8 Corvette. I like that a lot. Okay, hopefully this is still turning out okay for you guys. Uh, I'll check the HVAC controls to see where, uh, where I want to have those set. Right now it's cool here in Ohio, so this is going to California. We don't need to have all this stuff set. So we'll have it uh, right around 68. We will sync them so they're good. Turn the heated seats off. Let's go into the home button here. 
and let's jump into settings and I come over to vehicle and let's come down to uh, seat position and turn on the seat memory and the seat exit I'll go to the system tab still in settings and I'll come down to favorites and I'll change the number of favorites I'll do just a couple of these things set it up to max favorites at 40 let's go back over here to PDR and I'll set a lot of stuff up here so it records audio I'm not turning on automatic recording this is where you would turn it on if you wanted it to be a dash cam I'll go to configure though and I'll set it up so in the event you do that it once the cards full it overwrites it starts over at the beginning and I turn that so it is high res and even on the main screen we've got to go over here to video record quality and put that at high res PDR tab will allow you to change these overlays and I'll usually put it on track because people like to see all this stuff see how it's live and my foot's on the brake and the steering angle how that's live if you've been to Spring Mountain you know exactly what that is all about so that's preset up for you then I'll come back over here to the radio stations and the audio I'll go to the sound tab and I'll just increase this just a little bit just get them up just a little bit and I'll change the sound mode and I'll go to center point so it has a fuller sound your 14 speaker Bose systems go to Sirius welcome to Sirius XM yes sir thank you and let's go I, I, I think Don's gonna like some 70s you like 70s Don? A little classic vinyl uh, let's change the station go classic rock okay so at least five stations are set so he can play around with that let's turn this off let's get this set where he wants it Okay, my seat feels good. And I'll set both memories. Now I'm going to put the seat all the way back and down. Steering column up. Put it all the way in. Then I'll set the exit position. And over here for the front parking camera, I'll make sure, okay, this is the view that I want because you can go to other, other views and uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't like the two fish eyes. I think having the longer approach of the front parking camera is nice. The gray strips, the yellow line is the outer edge of the car, not the mirrors, just the outer edge of the body of the car. And you can access the front cameras as I just did right there by hitting the word front in the upper right hand corner in front of the mode selector. That's one way. The other way is when you're in reverse, and then when you come out of reverse and go into drive, they come up automatically without having to hit that prompt and they stay on up to five miles an hour. Now we just got to get the temporary tag on the car and uh, just about ready to go. We got to get the other one ready and then we're going to do a send off pad all in this vlog for you guys. Start to finish how we're prepping a car for shipping and or delivery. Now see, this is good. And oh, I forgot. I should have it in here. Ah, do. I <laughs> save this too. And put the steering wheel cover on. Two. So there. All right. So now she's ready to ship. Okay. Let's do the same thing for Jeffrey's car. Let's walk around it real quick so you guys can see it. Look at this Elkhart Lake blue. Even on a cloudy day, a little bit of sun, but even on a cloudy day, this color jumps off this camera. Colored body blades. Spectre gray trident wheels. Wow, this is sharp, man. Jeffrey, you're going to love this, dude. I actually did ship one without the sign. And then I overnighted it to the guy and said, hey, I'm really sorry. Your sign wasn't on the car when it came off the truck. He laughed. He thought it was cool. All right, driver's here. And we're in Jeffrey's car going to Westminster. Did I say that right? Westminster, <laughs> California. Uh, we've got, because he's a younger demographic, we got a little Diplo. Trying to hold on to didn't even know I wasted it on to watch you go. Everything inside it. Sorry, it's a little early in the morning for that. Walk around this way so Jeffrey can see his car before he gets there in the sun. Oh my God, look at this, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow, that looks good. All right, I got to take a picture of that real quick. Oh, yeah. Jeffrey, thank you again for your speedy response to the opportunity of this car, your flexibility to make this deal happen. I'm excited for you. Uh, hopefully this is not your only Corvette. You know where to go if you need another one, buddy. Congratulations. California bound from Ohio. We've got to send off Pat for Jeffrey. All right, thank you so much. Z51, I won't forget like I did Tim and Denise down at the National Corvette Museum. We're going to rub 
that wing for him as well. Yeah. Going to Apple Valley, California. Don, thank you for being such a huge supporter of the channel. Thank you for waiting for so long for this moment. Driver's out there waiting for this car, so let's get it over there. The eyeball view you guys are looking at right there, that's Don's car. Oh my gosh, does that look great. Really does. And when you get up close, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. Many people yet still don't know, can you guys see that there's metallic? in the ceramic gray of course we're going to get it in that uh, white pearl tri-coat for the 23 anniversary car the 70th anniversary coming up there's masses of inquiries there's only so much we can do but for those of you that i do get to deal with i thank you i congratulate you you are you guys are freaking awesome Donna, California, we've got to send off. Pat for you, sir. Here we go, man. Thumbs up. Z51, rub the wing. Woo! Enjoy the heck out of it, man. Little tidbit, if you have your power mirrors folded in and you left them in and started driving away, they open up around 12 miles an hour. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the conversation today and sharing my nearly step-by-step -step process and getting a car ready for delivery and shipping across the country. What an honor it is to represent this car. Here we are upon 70 years of Corvette. Great heritage, great history, and incredible stories to tell that we try to do each and every time on our upload, in addition to simply have fun, because that is what this car is all about. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you support our channel by subscribing, thumbs up the video, leaving those comments down below as you always do. You guys are so engaging. I really do appreciate that too. Coming up Tuesday, it will be a Tech Tuesday, and Chuck is gonna show you in a hardtop convertible how to put that convertible top in service mode. And I said, man, that's interesting. You gotta tell the guys this on Tech Tuesday because when you go to a car show, you might just want to do this. And also next week, I'm going to be at the Bash event. I'm arriving at the National Corvette Museum Thursday afternoon. We'll be there all day Friday and hope to capture some stuff for you guys on the vlog. More importantly, I think, uh, rather than walking around with a camera all the time, I want to just be there to hang out and talk with you and have fun. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.